Today we continue the Spring Boot Security Series. We are going to use the JDBC User Details Manager in this tutorial. We can use the JDBC User Details Manager in several ways. In this video we will cover two different implementations. First we will cover the Embedded Database Builder. Here we have very few configuration options. Next we will use the Data Source Builder. This allows us to choose the database where we manage our users and permissions. We are back in Eclipse and will go over all classes and files. First, the Application Properties file. Here you see is usual server port 8080. Then the properties to set the log level. This can be useful to see which classes and filters Spring Boot Security uses. Then you see the settings for the H2 database. Next we'll look at eSecurity configuration class. Here you can see that we now use authorized HTTP requests instead of authorized requests. The latter is deprecated since the new Spring Boot 3.0.0. In the snapshot version you could still use the older authorized requests. Then we created two new beans. The JDBC User Details Manager and Data Source. These beans are needed to connect to a database. In the data source bean, we use the embedded database builder. This is a data source included with Spring. The home controller is not antiquated. We still have the home user and admin git mappings. And lastly, we use the command line runner again to create two users. After starting the project, you see that everything starts fine and without errors. Now we can test the project in a browser. In our browser we look at the home page first. We get 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 expected answer. Welcome home. Then the user page. Here we need to log in a one user we created. Then the admin page because we are logged in with the admin account that works fine. After that we go to the H2 console. You can see that all the tables and fields have been created with the correct data. We're back in Eclipse to extend the JDBC User Details Manager. The Application Properties file is unchanged. The changes were made in the Security Configuration class. You can see that the Data Source Bean has been modified. Here we use the H2 database, but you can use any kind of database you want here. The Home Controller has not been changed. Also the main class is the same as in the previous example. A file has been added. The Schema SQL file is where the database is created. Keep in mind that the setup of the tables and fields is fixed. You can find all the info on the website, spring.io. You can also choose to use a MySQL database, but you are required to use the table name and field names. The more custom setup will be for a next video. Thanks for following. Thank you. Like. Comment. Share and subscribe.